Hey guys, so I want to show you a, a, a new product to me. Uh, I've had for a longest time problems with staining mildew on the uh, the cushion here. You can kind of see this is the uh, uh, what do you call it? bolster cushion. It's really dark there from everyone putting their hands on it. And you can I don't know if you can see the little specks, the little dots, but that's all mold and mildew. So. I was actually at one of the stores recently, and I've always used the uh, Starbright product. I find that has actually worked the best, uh, but it's kind of expensive. So one of the things that I've recently found, someone had recommended is X14 Mildew Stain Remover. Um, this was super cheap. I wanna say I probably got it for five bucks, and it really works. So I'm just gonna spray it on nice and thick. And it's really just to spray it and forget it. You know, get it all over, soak it. You can already kind of see the the spots are turning gray. It's uh it's pretty much almost all gone away. Those little spots, those little dots. So it's kind of pretty much pretty much gone at this point. So what I like to do is I'll take a magic eraser. I do have a magic eraser right here with me and I'll just give it a, a light little light little brush. So, all the way down just to make sure it coats everything. Get in the little little seam here. And then we'll go ahead and just rinse it off. And as you can see, it's a it's a night and day difference. It's gotten rid of all of those little dots, all those little specks, um, which are pretty much impossible to get off. So I'm not knocking the uh, Starbright product. It actually works really well. Um, it was just very expensive, so. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend X14 if you guys, uh, you know, are looking for something else, looking for something a little bit more cost effective. Definitely follow it up though with a protectant. This does have a little bit of bleach in it. So you're going to get a, you're, you know, you're going to, going to have some bleach on there. You want to get rid of that and make sure you get a uh, good protectant behind it. So between the 303 and the X14, I think you'll uh, be able to take care of all your cushions. So if you like the video, definitely, uh, Give me a thumbs up. I've been cleaning the fenders, cleaning the, the boosters over there. Over on that side, I'm going to actually do the uh, the cushions up there, and we'll see what it looks like. So if you got any value from this, please, uh, please like, and feel free to hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.